it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven. Thank you very much for joining me today. And um, today I've got a project share to show you. Um, this is for Donna, and um, we did a, a mini album swap. I was going to do one all this year um, with other crafters, but um, obviously I fell pregnant now, so it's. I'm trying to get all my orders done for my customers and you know finish projects that I've already started and get out of the way and then ideally I don't want to do anything else. So I've had to cancel the mini albums for everybody else this year so um, but I wanted to show you the mini album that I have finished for Donna before I send it, well actually she would have got it by now because um, I wasn't, I'm not going to put the video up till uh, um, I'm going to sneeze <coughs> oh excuse me <laughs> um, until she's received it so Donna would have got this now so um, but I thought I'd show you before I get it all packed up and ready to go um, so uh, we, our theme was vintage um, and I wanted to do a 3D mini album um, or you know a 3D case for the mini album to go in. So um, there was a lady on YouTube and I can't remember the, her name uh, but I think I linked her video um, on my Facebook page when some when I shared some pictures of the case a few months ago I think I shared the video on there so um but she did she showed us how to do the case but I've adapted mine to how I wanted mine hers is I think is slightly bigger um and obviously I adjusted mine to a smaller size oh dear I've got the stiffles now so I thought I'd show you, if I'm yawning or not, I'm sorry, it's like half four at night and um, this is the time I start to get really tired. <laughs> um, so uh, yes, yeah, so this is the case, so I'm going to move the camera side, I don't want to move it too high because I don't want that light glaring. So this is the case, so, and I, I didn't want to decorate the case. Um, really um because i didn't want to cover up the uh, paper so i covered it with some vintage paper and the paper was i got these from the works and this is called authentic vintage um 12 by 12 paper and i used quite a few different paper pads i used this one um vintage experience and also passion for vintage um, so in fact I don't think I use many out of the small one I use mostly all out of these two and these paper pads were from the works here in the UK so I made some handles and I fastened them with some um, brads from uh, I think I got these from the Tim Holtz collection um, and then I added these box corners here then I used these Tim Holtz uh, fasteners to well the, to open and close your box and then I've got a clasp here that opens and closes to keep the box shut and then I added some of these feet as well so uh, and like I said I didn't want to decorate the box because I didn't want to cover up this beautiful paper and I distressed it all with walnut stain and vintage photo and everything like that so I'm going to open it up okay and just take the mini album out and this is what it looks like inside so uh, that's the inside of the box and then we get on to the mini album so this is the mini album 
and for the front cover I added some flowers and then this applique butterfly and I did a flower in the center then I added um, a metal key and just added a bow and then um, I added a, I had a, a white frame that I distressed with vintage photo and I did a little image from the uh, from some tags that I had and then I added this um, I can never remember what they're called anyway one of them I can't remember what they're called um, and then on the side I added this metal piece here with some beads and again the uh, oh, do you know what I mean I can't remember the life of me what they're called um, and then that's the back that I left plain okay Sorry, I keep getting interrupted, so. And then I added, I closed it up with this um, ribbon here. So we're going to open up to the inside cover. And I added some flowers here. And um, a cabochon, I think they're called, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then just uh, some embellishments on the bottom here. And then on the first page is this beautiful paper that I've just left plain so she can place a photo here. I added some more flowers and a key and um, a metal charm on the bottom here. And then I've got um, a tag at the top for some journaling for her. So she can do some journaling, journaling on them or um, you know, add a photo. Then the next page is this page here. So I made this flap here that opens up so she can add some photos and it just keeps closed by this metal charm here. And then I added a bead at the top here. And then on the next page I made this pocket here. And again I did some glitter and some pearls. And then I added two tags inside and also um, a photo mat as well and then I just added this flower here so I just place them inside there and then again at the top I have a tag then the next page to come to I have this flap here that's closed, kept shut by this metal embellishment. So this opens up so she can have a few photos in there. And then I left this one plain so you can see the beautiful paper. And again, there's another tag here. These ones are kept quite simple because I didn't want to cover them up. So she can do what she wants with these pages. So you can see there's a butterfly on there and I did some flowers and then you see these ladies here, charm and a, some uh, bow up here and again there's a, a tag here. Then on the next page um, I added this cut out tag here, glittered it up um, and then added some pearls to the wheels of the carriage and this is open here so then she can place a photo behind there then this one I did a belly band um, and I did some ribbon and then I added these flowers to the bottom here to keep these tags in place so all these tags just come out and so she could use them as a, a photo mat um, or um, you know journaling and then on the next page um, I did this cut out bag here and added a flower, another metal charm here and then this slides out to be a photo mat so she can have a photo there and behind there as well and then on the next page again I left this simple I just added a, some flower um, here and again it's got a tag on the side and then finally, the last page, um, I did a pocket here 
and I did um, some tags here and then again I did another pocket here with a flower and then I did this booklet um, to go in the um, pocket page so she can add some photos in there so that is the uh, vintage photo album that I made for Donna um, and uh, I'm hoping she likes it um, and I'm going to also be sending um, the craft stuff, uh, crafty stash that we just wait a minute please um, craft, crafty stash um, with this as well so I hope she likes it and I hope you liked it as well and um, we'll join me next time take care